A new deep water port at the Kenyan island of Lamu has welcomed its first ships, launching a potential trade corridor for neighboring countries despite local opposition. The $3 billion Lamu port is a part of an ambitious $23 billion regional transport corridor known as LAPSET or the Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor, which was launched nearly a decade ago in 2012. Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta presided over the ceremony. The first ships docked at Kenya's new deep water port on Thursday. The East African nation is looking to open up a new transport corridor, linking its vast northern region and neighbours to the sea. The Lamu port, being built by China Communications Construction Company, will cost $3 billion to complete over several years. It will compete with ports in Djibouti and Sudan, as well as Kenya's main port, Mombasa. At a commissioning ceremony, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta described it as making a dream a reality. We are officially operationalizing birth number one, and this means that we can start receiving ships and cargo at this port, and by July, birth number two will be ready, and by October of this year, the last birth, which is birth number three, shall also be operational. However, there are security concerns. The port is in close proximity to Somalia. From there, Al-Shabaab militants make frequent incursions, targeting the lonely roads that cut across the jungles surrounding Lamu. Kenyan officials hope Lamu will attract cargo destined for its landlocked neighbours Ethiopia and South Sudan. It's building several roads towards those borders and eventually plans a rail network and crude oil pipeline. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.